and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Johnston Sakwa from Open Blessing Church Headquarters, Nairobi, coming to you live on the scripture prescription this amazing morning. We glorify the Lord. He's an amazing Lord to give us an opportunity to share the word of God together. And I believe that even as we come to the closing moments of the year, the Lord has been faithful and enabled us to keep on sharing the word of our Lord. So I want to welcome you for this opportunity. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you, Father, for giving us yet another opportunity to hear your voice. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you'll stretch forth your hand of power to be a blessing to us in the name of Jesus. I give you glory. I honor you and I appreciate who you are. This is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our sight. I bless you and I honor you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning. I'd like to speak about a subject I have titled Dream Your Dream. Dream your dream. I just came across a statement on social media this morning about when you do something persistently and consistently, you need to have somebody encouraging you. And even when there's nobody to encourage you, you need to encourage yourself. Babo tells us elsewhere, David encouraged himself in the Lord. So the art of encouragement is critical. It is important in our lives. So this morning, I want to appreciate all of you, and I believe the Lord is going to speak to us on this subject, dream your dream. I want to read the Bible in the book of Habakkuk, chapter number two. We're going to read verse number two to three, and I'm reading from the New International Version of the Bible. Habakkuk, chapter number two, we are reading verse number two to verse number three. This is what the Bible says. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not wait and will not prove false. Let me read that again. Verse number two. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it, it will certainly come and will not delay. Praise God. Now, I want you to understand, child of God, that nothing comes to pass except it is internalized as a dream or vision. I don't literally talk about the dream that you have to sleep and dream. I'm talking about the dream, an anticipation that you want to do something in the time to come, whether you're talking about building a house, whether you're talking about, you know, uh, going through education to other levels, whether you're looking at change of jobs, all these things, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and it will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it, it will certainly come and will not delay. There is nothing as important as having a dream. Nothing works without a dream. Whether you want to build a house, you must conceive what you want. It must go through the architectural design and motions. It will go through approval processes and then you will build. So it does, not, and it does not start the other way. It doesn't start with the building. Then you work backwards to build or to buy a piece of land. Not at all. The dream is designed from the beginning. Praise God. This morning, but I believe that the Lord will be able to give us the grace and the capacity and ability to move forward. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry for that disruption. So dream your dream. Dream your dream. The consistency, the resolve, the purpose, the realities to bring out that which you set out to do is what is fundamental, is what is important. Dream 
your dream. Sometimes we start issues and we stop along the way because we were discouraged or we felt like something was not going on the way we thought. But I have got good news for you this particular time. I want you to know that it's only by virtue of the dream and visions that you perceive in your mind, in your spirit, and in your heart, and you commit yourself to its fulfillment that comes to pass. Dream your dream. Dream your dream. So it's very, very important that you take the basics and do what you're telling and bring out the result that God wants you to get. Many times I've looked at life and I do realize that if you do not begin something, you're likely not to see the fruition of it. You're likely not to see the fruition of it. So understand fundamentally what it is you've got to do to ensure that you succeed in your life. Dream your dream. Praise the name of the Lord. May the good Lord be with you. Give us divine enablement to achieve every dream that we set out to do for the glory of his name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for the grace that is available. Thank you, Father, for your love. Help us to dream our dream in the name of Jesus. I give you glory and I honor you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. The good Lord be with you. The good Lord bless you. This has been your host and your servant, Reverend Johnston Sakwa from the Open Blessing Church at Quarters, Nairobi, coming to you live on the scriptural prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom. The good Lord bless you and the good Lord be with you. Amen and amen.